What's going on, everybody? Survival Islanders back again with another video. Uh, don't forget to follow our Twitch, join our Discord. Links to those will be in the description. Um, so people were asking us to end up uh, showing how to do the animation editor. Uh, I, I understand that, so I'm going to be doing that today. Sorry for the really long wait. We're both kind of, well, yeah, we're both pretty busy. Um, and I'm just now getting to this, so I'm going to get right into that. Okay, so when you have the plugin, first you got, you got to install the plugin. Uh, unless it's, I, I can't remember if it's already there or not. Because I have had this for years, so. Uh, you're going to want to go and then just create a rig. Should be something for that. Is it, no, it's not Avatar Importer. It's something. Rig Builder? Is it Rig Builder? You can do whatever you want. You can just type in here if I wanted to go. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I found out why my screen didn't record the the video last time. Uh, I had it on a different view port or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I was it was just recording what I was seeing, not the entire window. So um, that's going to be fixed this time. Okay, so regardless, um, R6, R15. So let's just go basic. You can use uh, this is with an R6. That's an R15. Okay, so. For the dummy that I, you, I gave you in the model that's within my other video for the scare animation, people are asking, okay, why uh, making my own anima animation? Why doesn't it want to work? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Select your model. Call it whatever you want. Hello. Uh, delete tool. Thank you. Delete button. I'll just... Here. Okay. Now the animation is pretty simple. So this right here is the time frame... It's about literally one minute, one, like I say, it's a minute, but that's actually in seconds. So that's about like a one kind of second interval here. So if I really wanted to just, uh, if you hit here and you hit add all, everything is now part of it. So you want to start off by at least um, adding everything. Or if not, let's say I didn't do that. Let me go back. I have to actually undo everything. That's stupid. Okay, so if I move this arm, the upper, what is that? Upper, yeah, the upper left arm and everything attached to it is now in that position. So that means here is our start point. That means whenever I save this animation, it'll always start with this brick now that it's like this, okay? So whenever you move an object, this is what happens. Um, it'll create a keyframe. Keyframes are where you know, the points in time where the animation takes place. So it that the arm moved and it's moved in that position. Okay. So if I wanted to show the time frame, let me just drag you all the way over here and just slightly move you. There. This is the repeat button. This will just loop it. So if I loop it in play, see, that's one second. That's a whole second. That's how slow the animation will move. So... You want it to go faster, let's move that to half the time. See, a little faster. All the way down to that. Watch this. Yeah, that's a proper wave, huh? Okay. So, what about if I want to improve this? So, you can see... Actually, why don't I go ahead and lower that a little bit. There. So, how do we go from that, um, this, to this without making it look like it's stupid. Well, I could go ahead and go here. And move that maybe about there. Here. There. Now, as you saw, when I moved one part that was already not there to begin with, it ended up being a part of it. So. Originally, when I when I added that the extra arm move, it didn't do anything. But when I added this, since it wasn't a part of these two, it just kept going. That's why I didn't have to move it in the other two frames. If a part was not touched, if you move that part and it and it's not moved in any of the other frames, it'll move into the other frames. So it's so it's simplifying things, I guess. I wish I could explain this better, but this is a little. It's not exactly simple to say in any of this. Just move this, move that. So, I'm not really the best at animating, by the way, but um, 
I could move that back. I'm basically just showing you how to do an animation. Now we're going to get to the same there. It's a better kind of wave. I don't know. So you want to save it. Go ahead, save as. You can save. If you hit, if you already created one after saving as, if you just save it, it saves to the whatever one you're working on. Save new. Just call it A. And that's what I'm calling it. Okay, we have an animation. Okay. Um, don't worry about that. I need to get rid of you. You don't have any motors or whatever. So here's our dummy. You go into it. You find this. Here's your animation. You want to find the keyframe sequence that is marked as the one that you saved it as. So you're going to right click. If you save the file, you save it to your computer. You're not saving it to anything but your computer. Save it to Roblox. Also, by the way, you'll notice that you can't submit it. If apparently, you have to do a description, which I think is really stupid. But I'll just go there. I don't, it doesn't even matter. Just type in a letter. There. It's done. Okay. So if I wanted to say play, if I wanted to play an animation, okay, I'm going to drag this. Usually things like this have an animation script, just like my dummy does, okay? But when I go to do the jump scare, you see, um, I'll insert it here. Okay. So, okay, this was the model that everybody got. And how you set it up is just like this. I'll even show you the setting it up part. So take the everything, drag it into its proper places. Not mess with anything. No reason to. Unless you really know what you're doing. That's what everybody says, but it is true. Okay, so your animation was this. Right here. All the way into modules in animation. So this was my ID. You're wondering why it's not working. Well, that's because Roblox has a certain thing where um, it used to be anybody could take an animation, but it was because that people were taking these really inappropriate animations or something like that, and people were stealing them when people when the creators never wanted them stolen. So only the people who make, and only the owner of an animation can use that animation. So you can't use mine. Therefore, when you do the when you do the jump scare, it just kind of stands there. It does nothing, and then you die. So, we have our animation. We saved it to Roblox. Where do you find it? Once you're in Create, you're going to look under Animations. You're going to go to your animations. Find the one you recently did. Open it. In New Tab or whatever. You see this number between the two backslashes? You want to you highlight all that and hit Control and then C. So you want to copy. Here's how you know you did it right. If you did control and then C, you copied. When you hit control V, you get this. Meaning you hold control and then you hit C and then you do the same thing with V to paste. Okay, so we got our thing. That's our, take that number. You find the modules, you go to animation, you paste it. There. Once everything is put in this right spot, I'll just get rid of you. And I'm going to, to set, uh, test it. What was that? No, that's a plugin. I'm going to test it now. So also a lot of people were having a little bit of trouble with bugs or something with it touching. So I'm going to offer a whole new one. You can get it in this one too. Um, I'll post a, a link for the new one I'm going to make in the other video. That way things are fixed. See? It did the little wave animation. So if you follow everything to the point just like that, um, that is how you do it. Uh, if you got any other questions, uh, please post down in the comments below. We're going to start doing a, couple, a lot more of these, uh, these tutorial videos and a lot of other things. So uh, we'll be back more with more videos. Uh, give us a like and a sub, and see all you later.